president making a historic first court appearance today, but the case of the United States versus Donald Trump has a much longer arm. And how fast the case moves forward will depend in large part on one person, U.S. District Judge Eileen Cannon, appointed by then President Trump in 2020, will oversee the trial if and when it happens. Tara Jigley breaks down what comes next in this criminal case. It's the calm after the storm here in downtown Miami, where just hours ago inside this very courthouse, former President Donald Trump pled not guilty. Former President Donald Trump stood beside his lawyer, Todd Blanche, as he entered the plea. In the front row sat special counsel Jack Smith. I suspect he was there to, to back up his, his team of prosecutors who were there. And also, in the event that anything, um, any curveballs were thrown. Richard Serafini, a criminal defense attorney in South Florida and a former prosecutor for the Department of Justice, says, in fact, there were few surprises at Tuesday's arraignment. The only thing that was not routine was the back and back and forth regarding uh, uh, who President, former President Trump could talk to and how much you could talk to them. The judge ordered Trump to refrain from communicating with witnesses, including his co-defendant, Walt Nauda, but... The, the defense team said that uh, Trump kind of had to deal with these people on a professional basis, uh, that, that they were busy, they were associates and, and worked with him. Ultimately, the judge ordered a compromise. Trump could keep those lines of communication open, but cannot discuss the case except through his lawyers. When asked when this case could possibly go to trial, Serafini says not likely before the primary, but you better believe prosecution is going to do whatever they can to get this to trial before the general election. Reporting from downtown Miami, I'm Tara Jaquay with WPBF 25 News.